Well, ahoy! In today's video, guys, I am going to be taking you on a food tour of Carnival Panorama. If you are wondering what is included for your options for dining here on Carnival Ships, this is a video that you are going to want to stick around for. This video is going to be a culmination of our seven day cruise on board the Carnival Panorama filmed in 2022. So your ship may be a little bit different, but for the most part, a lot of these eateries are going to be included on all Carnival ships. So I hope that you are ready. Go get your stretchy pants on because we've got a lot of eating to do. One of the places you can come and eat that's complimentary is Blue Iguana Cantina. And they are open breakfast and lunch and they are located right off of the pool deck. So on this case, it's deck 10. It's uh, right next to the main pool and then right outside of the Lido Marketplace Buffet. Since they're open for breakfast and lunch, I'm gonna just show you the one. I'm here for breakfast, but they do have uh, make your own tacos and burritos and things like that for lunch as well. So it's a very popular spot, but totally worth it, very delicious. Let's go check out what they have for breakfast. I ended up getting a breakfast burrito and I got it with Mexican style scrambled eggs. I also got some hash brown potatoes, a little bit of ham, lettuce, sour cream, uh, salsa verde, and some pico de gallo and it looks so good. I got it with a wheat tortilla but you can get it with a jalapeno tortilla if you like a little bit of spice and it comes nice and wrapped. Kind of reminds me of like chipotle but for breakfast. All right, let's try this out. And it's a huge burrito, very big size. Okay. I love burritos. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. Can never go wrong with a burrito. One of our absolute favorite places to have food on board a carnival ship completely free is their sea day brunch. This is such a fun experience. You can get some things that you can't usually get in the breakfast buffet or in the restaurant. And it's just a really fun atmosphere, a nice way to start off your morning, kind of a leisurely way to kick off your sea day on board carnival. So let me show you the menu, and then we will show you all of the food that we are getting today on our Sea Day Brunch. Okay, so I got the 12 hour French toast with peach, very thick, and they seem to have made it smaller than it used to be, which is good, because I never could finish it. So it's very crisp on the outside and very soft on the inside. I also got bacon for once. It's the way I like it. You guys already know what I got. Lox and bagel. And I know some of you guys are gonna come for me in the comments because this is what I always get. But you know what? I like what I like. I'm not gonna apologize for that. So I ended up getting the toasted bagel, cream cheese, smoked salmon, capers, onions, and then I also ended up getting a side of their uh, hash browns and some pork sausage links. And of course, I always love to get their orange juice. Their orange juice is extremely good on sea day brunch. It tastes very fresh. Um, but overall, this is just one of my favorite things to do on sea days. And it's completely it's completely free unless you decide to order like a drink and you don't have the drink package or they have a couple of new options that are like upcharge options so um, but let's go ahead and dig in and have some food so brunch is done it was delicious everything was just perfect and we will see you guys for the next eating spot in just a little bit. So 
So one of the places that you can come to eat that's complimentary for lunchtime only is Cucina del Capitano, which is Carnival's Italian restaurant on board. It's located on deck 11 uh, on the Carnival Panorama. And for lunch, they have a simple menu of a build your own pasta bowl. Um, and then it also gives you the option for Caesar salad and bread. I got the penne with bolognese sauce, zucchini, and peppers. I've had the bolognese before and they have assured me it's all beef. So I ended up getting the farfalle pasta, which is the bow tie pasta with butter sauce, with shrimp, zucchini, and mushrooms. And it looks beautiful, it smells good. So let's try a little bit. Mmm, delicious. guys so we are here at guys pig and anchor and this is one of the places you can come and eat for free if it's lunch on a sea day and it's out in the very back you walk through the restaurant and they have a buffet of barbecue items out in the back um, so we each got a plate of stuff I'm gonna show you what each of us got but I ended up getting a little kind of sampler plate I ended up getting the smoked pork butt some pulled brisket, uh, beef brisket, and a sauce andouille sausage. I also got some potato salad, some bean, baked beans, and some macaroni and cheese. So I got the two different sauces. I got a brown sugar one, and I also got the, I think it's a signature one. I forget what it's called, but I'll show you all the sauces as well. So let's dig in and try this out. I got shredded beef coleslaw, baked beans, and I got two kinds of sauces. One's Kansas City and one's brown sugar. Okay, this is my first time at Pig & Anchor because the last time we were on this ship it was too cold out. We didn't want to go out to the outside barbecue. But um, it's fun and it's quick and it's just the right amount of food to have today because we're going to tea at three o'clock and I didn't want to eat a big lunch. Okay guys, so we are here at Gigi's Kitchen, which is the Asian restaurant on board Carnival. For lunchtime, they actually do a complimentary Mongolian walk, where you come in, they give you a sheet of paper, you pick your noodles, your protein, and your vegetables, and this is one of the places you can come and have a free lunch if you don't want to go to the buffet, and it's just kind of a cool, cool place to try. It is very, very busy on sea days, so just keep that in mind. Definitely come prepared to wait. They give you a buzzer and they'll buzz you as soon as you're ready. But it smells delicious. I'm very excited to try it out. So let's see how it is trying Mongolian wok. I got beef with lo mein with many, many vegetables, with soy, soy sauce. So for mine, I got um, lo mein noodles with beef, and then I added cauliflower, I added green beans, mushrooms, onions, and zucchini. And I got mine with a soy sauce as well. Looks really good. The noodles are really good. They have a nice consistency, a little bit of that chew and that pull. And then the vegetables and the beef, it's a really good soy sauce, a little bit salty. Just how I like it. Alright guys, so one of the places that is completely complimentary that you can eat at Onboard Carnival is their afternoon tea. 
This takes place in the Vista restaurant when you're here on Carnival Panorama, but for different Carnival ships, just make sure to check your uh, hub app. And it's usually between three and four, but just make sure to check which restaurant it's gonna be located in for your ship. And if you've never been to Tea Time, it's so much fun. It's basically little sandwiches, little desserts, and tea. So with that, let's go ahead and enjoy Tea Time. I got a little carried away. I have strawberries. Look at that. A real whole strawberry. Carly's very happy. A scone with clotted cream. Chocolate cake. Oh, oh my god, and the fruit tart is chocolate. Good thing I had a very small lunch. So I got strawberries and cream, a scone, a piece of lemon cake, and the fruit tart. And then I also have the smoked salmon crostini and my tea. Tea time is one of my favorite things on the ship because I love to go to tea. If you've seen some of Carly's videos, we've been to tea in many, many places. Uh, it's just fun. You get to have tea and you get to eat a lot of sweets and you can pretend that because it's tea time, there's not a lot of calories in it. So at night, you get your own fresh made pizza, which means I got a pizza with no cheese, just sauce and pepperoni. Just the way I like it. So for dinner, I'm having a pizza and a salad. I feel so healthy, sort of. <laughs> but it's thin crust, so it's probably only a thousand calories. Here it goes. <clears throat> just came out of the oven. Mmm. Delicious. The sauce is just the way I like it. So one of the things that I love about Carnival is their deli. And this is completely complimentary. Uh, usually it's open till about 11 p.m. And they have a lot of different sandwich options that you can get. Um, a lot of them are, com they come pre-made with what they put on it naturally, but you can actually customize it, of course, to what you want. So I ended up going and I got a turkey sandwich. And on mine, I just put mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and turkey on toasted white bread. And this is one of my favorite things about this, about Carnival, because sometimes I'm just not really in the mood for something heavy, or, you know, I don't want to sit and have to wait for food. Um, or if you just want a snack, a sandwich is a great option. And so it's just a really quick, easy option, completely complimentary, and totally delicious. So. Let's have a bite. The bread is perfectly toasted. Turkey is delicious. And it has all the fixings that I personally want on my turkey sandwich. So, with that said, you can also get some fries. Now, you know, fries are fries. But I like that they give you the option to have fries because in the buffet sometimes they aren't going to have that as an option for dinner. So just know you can always go to the deli and get a sandwich and fries. Mm -mm -mm. And bon appetito. <laughs> One of the most popular places to eat on board a carnival ship that's completely complimentary is Guy's Burger. So it is obviously a burger joint and anyone who's cruised carnival is probably very familiar with it. It is extremely popular, but you can get all kinds of creations. They have um, a recommended menu of different things, or you can just get a plain burger, plain cheeseburger and kind of fix it the way you want it. The reason I love this on top of, you know, 
I love a good cheeseburger, is they have the best fries on the entire ship. These fries, they're like seasoned with seasoned salt, and it's so good, just so good. But their toppings bar is really quite good. They have shredded lettuce, they have onion, tomato, pickles, jalapeno, they have chili, they have all kinds of goodies. So if you're looking for something that's, you know, kind of quick and easy, definitely go check out Guy's Burger Joint. Okay, we went to Guy Pieri's burger place, and I get a hamburger, because I don't eat cheese, and I got onions and lettuce and french fries and that's what we're having for dinner so something you get all the time is either frozen yogurt or soft serve ice cream chocolate or vanilla this is soft serve ice cream you can get it in a cone or you can get it in a cup this is only the second time i've had it and it's one of my favorites all right guys, so that's gonna do it for the food tour on board the Carnival Panorama. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the different options that are included on your cruise if you come onto this ship. So with that said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite restaurant to eat at on board a Carnival ship. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next